Hey folks, Lindsey Huddleston with Sports Psychology Solutions in the building. Day two, Detroit Mercy team camp led by Coach Mike Davis. Sitting here with my guy, Chad Wilkerson, all the way down from Lansing, came in to check us out. Uh, what brings you down today? Uh, my son's playing with East Lansing uh-huh. High School. So, you know, coming down to watch them guys play and uh-huh. perform today. So Okay, that's good. So um, you've been a fixture on the basketball scene here in Lansing. Me and you mix it up on the court a little bit. Yep. You know, you hold that post <laughs> real well. What is it like for you, one, to come see your son play, but being a basketball guy, what does this kind of event do for you when you come in something like this? Uh, just coming to see what the other guys are doing, what the other mm-hmm. programs are looking for. Um, also gives, I guess, my son the chance to really do something in front of coaches like a U of D um, mm-hmm. and type of programs. But because before I didn't have these opportunities or didn't know about them, right? So, you no, know, really knowing, you know what this has done, and especially for schools in Lansing coming up to events like this. Sure. You no, know, this is common for Detroit schools, right? So, you no, know, the Lansing schools getting some of those guys out of Lansing get a chance to be get some exposure. That exposure is key because you got teams from all over. You got teams that have competed a great amount. So you almost got to wear two hats because you are a basketball trainer and a great one by trade, but also as a parent of a player. You know, do you find yourself switching between which hat you have? on at times or is it one all the time and not the other? Um, you no, know, you definitely have to learn how to balance that hat. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, a lot of times... What's helped you learn that? How have you been able to learn that over time? Uh, with my oldest. Uh-huh. You know, I have okay. one that just graduated. He's actually on, on his way to Albion to play oh, for great. this That's fall. That's right. Congratulations. Yep. So, um, really learning how to sit back and allow him and understanding that what you've taught him He's going to apply, uh-huh. then have those conversations after the game, right. not during the game. Mm, right? Yeah, you know? yeah. There was a so. time, I bet, you right on it, you want to put it out there. Yeah. That's good. What advice can you give to players, your son included, as it relates to taking full advantage of this process? Because I know you touch a lot of young people, and you help them guide their way to, you know, to do what they need to do. What advice can you give them right now as far as how they take advantage of a situation like this? Um, Prepare. Uh-huh. No, the biggest thing is prepare. A lot, I think a lot of guys don't understand the magnitude when they are at these events that, mm-hmm. guess what, this can get you that look. You know, you can't sit around and complain about you don't have opportunities, and then when the opportunity comes, you're not prepared for it. Not prepared. So you, you should always be preparing um, no matter what. You know, if it's, all right, I'm going to the open gym to play in front of my varsity coach and right. you're a freshman. Right. I'm preparing for that. So make every event an event almost. Yeah. Make it something, not just no big deal. You know, you know, young people, especially you having these young children, they, they get stay so cool. Mm-hmm. They want to be cool all the time. But you and I as adults say, man, you know, it's not about being cool. It's about, you know, showing what you have. How do you kind of break them from that mentality of being so cool that what their friends say is okay compared to doing something a coach like Mike Davis would be impressed by? Um, dare to be different. Mm-hmm. You know, I uh, challenge them. I challenge my kids. You know, a lot of the guys that came from my program, I – I pride myself off of because they were kids that people looked at and was like, oh, he ain't no ball player. Wow. You know, really? um, a lot of the kids, you know, they, when they when the prospector teams walked in the gym, it was like, they ain't no real, you know, right. about to run them out the gym. Right, right, right. But it was, you know, the total opposite because of the way we play, uh-huh. you know, and them guys come with it. Like, we take every game as it's a championship game. Wow. You know, um, we take every team as it's a the top team. Like, right. we don't. We don't give anybody any breaks, mm. you know. Um, I love it, but that's, for, that's for me, you know, personally, because that, you know, I always have this mentality. You always have to watch out for the guy that is not the best because he's always watching you. Mm. You know, I try to tell my kids, you know, some of you guys were the best young. Right. It's hard staying on top it for is. a long time. You almost mm. better not having that recognition early yeah. on. Yeah. Because it's going to. The guy that's just as good as you at that time is not the one you have to worry about. Mm-hmm. It's the kid that's sitting on the bench and he's playing behind you all the time. Don't right. get as much. He's looking at the back of your head, and that's what in any aspect. That's coaches, right? Like, right. Like they're looking at the back of you, like I want his spot. I'm looking at the back of your head, right now, behind you. Doing I'm a, I want your spot. Like wow. you, you're comfortable, mm-hmm. but I'm hungry, mm-hmm. and um, I try to get my players to understand you have to always be in that mindset. Sure. Even if you're on the top, you have to always understand that there's probably somebody better than you. So right. you got to always be wanting to get better and chase that, that right. top spot. That's good, if, man. If you're keeping that mentality, it's, it's a lot easier. Well, to your point, you kind of mentioned the prospects. Why don't you tell folks the other things that you do, the organization that you're involved in. If you have a website to share, too, we can put that up on the screen. Um, Lansing Prospectors is the AAU organization that okay. I'm, I'm involved in. I've uh, been involved with that organization almost 10 years now with my cousin. Marcus Warman. Yep, yep. Um, I do have my own uh, training company. We're uh, 
it's Wilkerson Elite uh, mm -hmm. uh, Training, but it, no, our subtitle is We in the Gym. We in the Gym. Um, yep. You can, right. you can follow that us on, on Instagram. On okay, what's it on Instagram at? Instagram, uh, Mr. Uh, Instagram is We in the Gym Training okay. on Instagram, and then on Twitter is Mr. Uh, Never Stop. Mr. Never Stop. Those are all the things <laughs> yeah. you've been talking about. We want to make sure that information is up there. Before we sign off, is there anything you want to share to your players, to your clients, to the parents, or whoever else may pick up and watch this video? Um, take advantage of every aspect. Like, always prep, prep, preparation is the biggest key for me. Uh -huh. um, always make sure that you're ready. Mm -hmm. you, know, you never know when you're going to get the opportunity. So, just because the opportunity is not here now, right, right, no prepare. Yeah, like that short sight. Oh, I didn't happen now, so I'm done. But you got to keep preparing yeah. all the time. You never know when that opportunity. It might. It only needs to take one person to you know really see you and be like, "Yo, hold on." Yeah, because you only can be one place at a time anyway. Yeah. That's so, you all, so you all just just prepare. Right. Prepare, prepare just like you would prepare for a test. Mm -hmm. Prepare every before every game. Mm -hmm. Make sure that your 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 preparation is right. Get if you're really team. about what you say you are, yeah, I want to get this and make this happen. Yep. Sitting here with Chad Wilkinson, uh, doing great things. Really good guy. Uh, he could be a great resource to you and your team. But not when he watches his son play at East Lansing. Okay. <laughs> I want to wish you the best of luck this season. Thank you. Appreciate you stopping by. All right. Good luck, Lindsay Edelson, signing off with Sports Psychology Solutions at Detroit Mercy uh, Team Training Camp uh, Day Two. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you.